we are wasting away. Inwardly, we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. You've got to take some of these things with a pinch of salt because they're not all explicitly biblical, but certainly their belief is that they these entities are trapped in Saturn and it's all to do with breaking time and cracking them out. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth, I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies, and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves, until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing, I'd have judges promoting pornography, Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey. Good day. Of course, CERN as well, and all of that. Of time. Time. He is not someone you want as your enemy. So time is a he, again, demonizing the masculine side. And, and this is pr likely a reference to Saturn there because it goes the Tower of Babel, Stargate, time so change, time. and then time what do we get? Key. We get the single eye symbolism. So there's probably a reference he to is that. Not someone you want as your enemy. Young lady. Looks like a thousand points of light, all Luciferian. 
This cannot be good. The heart of the earth there, you see that? It is, all ties into the heart of time, the heart of the earth, and cracking them out. a portal and that's it this is the, the same thing I mean I haven't seen the film yet this trailer's only just come out but you see there how this is all tying into the same thing the changing of time the Luciferian belief system Lucifer cracking out the false light cracking them out of the heart of the earth uh, and all of that I present you with a gift this is rather sick actually because I'm sure some of you can see what that represents right there, the king being beheaded. So this is very blasphemous. And it's also probably a reference to um, the king's children, for example, the propaganda surrounding Christians. And also in the book of Revelation, it tells us that Christians in the end times will be persecuted in like manner. Let it be known to you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. no longer a Christian nation. Assalamu alaikum. Cannot sit back and wait for a savior. Which is why your father was right. We are all Jews. Because I am the chosen one. All right, here we go. You got the beast making war with the saints. It's exactly what it says, guys. It's exactly the stuff I've been telling you. It's happening. 
Revelation 13, 7, it was given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. They just minted this coin and put Donald Trump on there again with Benjamin Netanyahu. They're going to work together. Now, look, look what it says. War. This is just what it says. Revelation 13 and Daniel 7. <laughs> One truth. It's time for the Jedi to end. Hereby directed the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. That's a big statement. Aliens are going to be gone fast. The American astronaut embodied the incredible spirit of America. The confidence of a cowboy, the skill of a fighter pilot, the ambition of a scientist, and the courage of a true, true, brilliant, tough, Warrior. We are going in with first wave. You smash the entire.